Good afternoon everybody, this is Major League Hats here. I'm gonna be doing a hat review this week. But to get started, as I do in all my videos, I talk about my top 10 most wanted hats. And this week, coming in at number four is the Altoona Curve hat. They're the double A team of the Pittsburgh Pirates. The reason why I don't have this hat yet is because on lids where I get all my hats, they just haven't had my size in. And the only one that I really see on lids anyways is a red one and I would prefer to have it in the black color. The time that I did go to Philadelphia, the Altoona Curve were not playing so I couldn't stop by to get the hat at the stadium and see a game there. But I hope to down the line if I don't get it anytime sooner. So coming in at number 4 for Major League Hats Most Wanted is the Altoona Curve. Let's get started on this week's hat review. So let's talk a little bit about who the Daytona Tortugas are. They're the Class A advanced team of the Cincinnati Reds. Previous before that, they had affiliations with the Chicago Cubs. And that, that affiliation lasted from 1993 to 2014. After the 2014 seasons, the Cubs ended their affiliation with Daytona and they signed a new contract with the Myrtle Beach Pelicans of the Carolina League. Uh, the Myrtle Beach Pelicans used to be the advanced A team of the Texas Rangers. So once they did that, Daytona reached an agreement with the Cincinnati Reds following that 14th season and announced that the team would be rebranded with the new name with the local angle. So in 2015, they chose the name Tortugas. On June 3rd, 2015, Big Game Florida, headed by Andy Rayburn, sold the team to Tortugas Baseball Club, headed by Reese Smith III with partners Bob Frigole and Rick French. And they, they've said many times that they plan to keep the team in Daytona. So that's great if you live in the Daytona area or you just love baseball, um, you'll be able to go see them. The Daytona Tortugas, they play at Jackie Robinson Ballpark where they've done countless renovations and upgrades throughout the years. But they've consistently played there. They haven't moved or anything. They've only changed affiliations in the past. As I mentioned earlier, they, and then they became the Cincinnati Reds affiliate. The Daytona Tortugas mascot, his name is Sheldon. So that's who you see on the front. As you can see, the current color scheme for the Daytona Tortugas consists of blue and green. You have white in the D itself. So as you've heard me talk about the Copa de la Version hat series, this is another hat. And if you watched my previous video, I did an unboxing the other day where I got the Daytona Tortuga hat. The Daytona Tortuga hat is on my most wanted list. It came in at number nine, so I did fulfill that hat, which is pretty cool because I like uh, getting different hats, of course. The name Tortugas derives from the Spanish word turtle, of course. Well, if you don't know that, you clearly see it with the turtle on the front. Tortugas, um, turtle. So, But it also references the Gulf of Mexico's dry Tortuga Island. That was explored by Ponce de Leon, the first Spanish explorer to set foot in Florida. Ponte de Leon Inlet is 12 miles from Daytona. So if you're ever curious to see where it's at, just look 12 miles off land from Daytona. So let's talk about this hat a little bit. Now the normal logo of the Dayton Tortugas is very similar. The only difference, as I mentioned, is that they don't really have the feet sticking out. It's just mostly a smaller turtle coming out of the D. I do like this hat. I like the color. And I like the Tortugas. You see how it's green in the back with the emblem. You got the sky blue right here. It's very good. It's, I, I like these hats. As I mentioned, these are fun hats. If you're thinking about getting some of these fun series hats for your kids, I would highly recommend it. They're not too serious. They're fun. They're colorful. The only difference is the team is already called the Tortugas. So since this is supposed to be a representation of the Hispanic community, I would probably change it to a different name. Now, granted, they do have the Turtle Islands over there, and this was an island that Ponce de Leon stepped on when he came into Florida for the first time. So I guess it plays into the Hispanic community. Um, you can't really get any bigger than that. So they did do a good job, I guess, with the whole aspect of representing the Hispanic community. So I, I will give them an A on that. So if you're thinking about a good hat to get, I would recommend getting this Tetuna Tortuga hat. It's part of the fun series, as I mentioned earlier. If I had the other hat, I would show you what the difference is. But unfortunately, I don't have the other hat. I haven't had a chance to get it yet. Um, so, and then instead of getting that hat, I decided to get this, the fun series hat. And that's what I did. 
down the line maybe i'll do another video and i'll show you the difference when i get that hat this has been my hat review on the daytona tortugas it's part of the, this particular hat is part of the fun series if you like my hat reviews please subscribe to my channel and make sure you set your notification button so that you can get notified when i upload new videos which i try to do maybe once or twice a week depending on which hats i have or which hats i've gotten also if you want to follow me on twitter my twitter handle is ml underscore h-a-t-z that's ml underscore hats that way if you want to know where i'm going or what i'm up to or to see you know see what stadium i'm going to i'll put it on there what i'm doing or where i'm going and if you want to come by and say hi feel free to do that this is ml hats out